it's really gorgeous to be here with you. I uh, had a walk around at the break, just having a proper look at you all, because uh, once you get up here, you can't see properly. Uh, and I just want to uh, sort of commend you on how gorgeous you all are, actually. So it's just really nice to have such a, an attractive audience, <laughs> really. Thank you, I applaud you. <laughs> Uh, this thing happens, I make these notes, I do this post-it note system thing, and then it kind of dissolves in front of me, and I don't know what I'm going to say. But uh, Fennel has inspired me so much, and, and what we've heard tonight, and Nicola just now, and it's like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm in a safe place here. And, and it's in many ways, it's that that I kind of want to lean into. What I'm more interested in than providing information or talking about something is our experience. And our experience is continuous, our experience is now. You've heard this word a lot in the last 20 years, the word now uh, and presence and such like. Um, and you know, even just listening to Nicola now, um, you can hear that, that we consider presence as an act of doing more than an act of being, that there's, there's something to be done. So I want to introduce you right at the beginning of this, and I don't know where we're going to go with this, quite honestly, so you, when the 12 minutes is up, they're just up, basically, <laughs> to uh, a simple way that I work with my, I've been working with my own students of late. And um, I'm very fortunate that I get to work with many, many thousands of people, sort of online and so on, sort of around the world. And, uh, and the rec recordings really help as well. So what I've been asking people to do recently, uh, because we, we think, you know, like we hear the word like meditate, for example, uh, so say this was a meditation class, which it's not, of course. The, the minute you hear a word, you lean into what you've read about it or what you've heard about it, what you think it means, and then you try to project into that. And it's very much like how we live our lives, of how the past, we, 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 we look at the past and therefore create predictable futures by predict, projecting forward. And most of our lives work out exactly as we think they're going to work out like, because that's what we're thinking, you see? And you can't outthink it. You know, Einstein said that you can't change something at the same level that it's being created at. So we need to come to another place. So what I invite my students to do, and I'm inviting you in this moment to do, is not to make an egoic effort, but I would invite you to see if you can allow this moment can you allow yourself to be here? Now, immediately, you're probably going to feel your mind kind of take over and an effort being made in some way. So once you feel that effort, all you've got to do is back out. You back out from the effort. You make the non-effort. You know, the Buddha, uh, not a great fan of Buddhism myself, even though there's Vajrasattva here. Um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's a long story. Oh, the trauma, <laughs> right? But um, Sue, will, Sue will attest, Sue Fox down here. We, we are survivors, aren't we, Sue? And um, God, the things we survived. And um, it, one day I will tell that story uh, very properly. So there's this idea of non-effort. So the way that we can meet that is notice the effort that you're making and just see if you can just back off a little bit and just notice how that is for you. Can you allow yourself to simply be here in this room? And the, the reason that I'm introducing this to you, and I just would like you to not do that for the rest of this 12 minutes. People have this idea of spiritual practice or meditation as being doing something for like 20 minutes, meditating for 20 minutes. We're gonna have you know, sex for half an hour or whatever, you know. And so it's not a case of um, doing something for a specific amount of time. It's this non-effort of being and allowing it to take as long as we would like. You know, so if you want to meditate for 20 minutes, you allow this unfolding of the moment. And of course, you're aware of your mind and you're aware of your emotions and you're aware of fear and the past and all that. But what we don't realize most of the time is that we're living in things. We're living in those things. And that's what's getting in the way of our juiciness. The thing is, presence is damn juicy 
authenticity is juicy and you can't do an act of authenticity I've, I've heard people acting authentic a lot and in the game that I'm in believe me you know people act authentic at me all the time <laughs> to show me their, their spirituality you know and uh, and I'm, and I, I'm like mm. Like this, you know, like, like, like somebody's just read me a profoundly bad haiku, mm. <laughs> like that. So, uh, which is really good, just if, if you're ever worried about kind of a proper reaction to somebody, just hear a haiku and go, mm, inside yourself. <laughs> so it's this, this non-effort, this, this dropping back that allows for our authentic heart to kind of come into existence. And the reason that I'm telling you this, the reason that I'm talking about this is because my whole life, I didn't set out to be whatever this is. Uh, this is an accident. It's not an accident. It's just a side effect of, of living this human life at this time, this being living this life. Um, I just feel absolutely ordinary. And, and yet, I can't help but be a human being. I can't help but love us. I can't help but see how separate we are from each other all of the damn time and wonder what we can do about it and see that every solution that people offer through a dualistic system of this is and that's just never brings us into any kind of wholeness and yet the the that duality that we're talking about only exists with this wholeness behind it the wholeness is already there it hasn't gone anywhere we just got to back out you know not as an egoic effort but back out and something I've observed, nobody here, of course, I'm sure, so I'll just talk about as if I'm talking about me, but I'm not talking about you, obviously. <laughs> what I've noticed my whole life is people not being with each other, missing each other. I know people who have been married or in relationships for 30, 40 years who have never met. You see them in restaurants, you see them on buses, you see them on trains, you see them in the bar. You see them talking endlessly. You see them interested in things. You see them engaging in culture. But they've never met. All that has ever met is their ideas of themselves. And we go around looking for each other in ideas all of the time. And this is not to problematize us. It's conditioning. It's the way that this, this society and this culture is operating to turn us into some bodies. And we need to get away from being somebody's to being just us, just me, just you, naked. True spirituality is naked, baby, which is just absolutely beautiful. We have to kind of be naked with each other, with authenticity, with our awareness. Where I want to introduce awareness, this is not what's on the piece of paper at all now. <laughs> I want to Again, this is not information. I just want to introduce you to something. How are you getting on with the effortless effort? You still here? Or have you just noticed where you are? And, you know, has the idea taken over? Oh, my God, this guy's crap, isn't it? You know, the voice in the head. Or, you know, oh, really, you know, I really should have uh, put that lasagna out of the freezer before I came out. <laughs> and, and that sort of thing. You know, that's where we live in those things. And it's nothing wrong with that. But when we actually allow for this moment, then we, we just can be here and all of that can be attended to as well. But we keep projecting forward. So all we need to do if we're missing each other is we, in, we need to introduce another thing into our relationships, basically, and that's awareness. When, I, I, this, this is a visual thing really, but when, let's just call it two people, I know there are many modalities and how enjoyable they are, but, you know, just in the basic model of one plus one, what we tend to do is our ideas meet another set of ideas, and we hope that those ideas mesh or add to each other in some way. And then we spend our lives kind of looking through those ideas at each other, kind of face to face like this. And we expect the other to be the answer to the things that we're seeking, uh, you know, the loss, the pain body, and so on. And yet, if we were to turn you know authentically just drop it and turn just slightly like this to be at kind of 45 degrees with each other and put awareness here make ourselves responsible to awareness as a kind of an overriding thing then we have a third person or a third aspect in our relationships 
And that will always kind of see us right, because then we serve our awareness, sort of through the heart, as it were. So I want to just kind of offer you that. That's kind of something that I'm seeing more and more that we need at the moment. I think my time is kind of heading away quite quickly. So I just want to go back to... Yeah, two minutes, thank you. You're doing that so beautifully. Two points. <laughs> just going back to this being here, because I'm not really, as I say, not that interested in talking in a way or providing some information. I only just want to introduce, let's be authentic about our nakedness with each other and awareness uh, introduced into our relationships because otherwise all we've got is living through ideas with each other and we never meet. And we're, we're worth so much more than that, you know? And sexuality is great because it is a place that, that we break that down for a moment here and there. But I want more than a moment. I want to be seen and I want to see you and I want you to see me, you know? I want you to know that you've been seen and I, we can't do that through this fucking realm of ideas all the time and information. We're not information and ideas and not everything is to be added to ourselves. So I want to go back to just you being here in this moment. Just allow that feeling in your body. Allow yourself to feel your bum sitting on the chair, your feet on the floor, and the space of this room around you. And just allow that. Just allow yourself to actually be here with each other. And I would invite you in this last moment to simply look at the people next to you. Just actually in being, look at the people next to you. Even take their hand if you want to. Just allow yourself the intimacy of the moment with each other. Welcome to church, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you very much. <laughs>